Isn't it funny, Pandi, that is exactly what we're doing as a surveyor? Hi, Tias. How are you? I'm very good, Pandi. It's a weekend here. The weather is pretty. Um, perfect day for the beach. But right. of course, I choose Pandi. And yeah. Tias, tell me. You're in Australia now, right? I'm mm. in Sydney. I work with RPS. So that's no stand what RPS stand for. Um, so this mm. is the construction slash engineering slash um, consultant company. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have lots of uh, skill and capability. This company, but me working as surveyor, and mm. my um, I work specifically um, as a laser scanner surveyor. But that doesn't you know limiting me from doing another conventional surveyor. I will say it mm -hmm. like. Um, We've been busy doing utility surveying, topographical surveying, um, right. and that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Okay, great. So, and you have been in the company for quite some time now. Yeah, with RPS itself, uh, two and yeah. a half years. But before that, I moved around a bit. All so, right. moving from one company to another, which gives oh, me yeah. lots oh, of right. okay. insight. Yeah. Okay, let, let us talk about your... Uh, maybe early career. You finished uh, in geodetic engineering. I mean, you graduated from geodetic engineering in, if I may know, around 2000 something, 2000. 2008. 2008. Yeah. Okay, right. And then you went straight away to uh, industry, right? Yes. Um, so basically, after I graduated um, on 2008, um, mm. I know exactly what I want before I graduated. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. by the time I finished my um, graduation, my uni time, I mm. got accepted um, at TACE. So TACE is another, mm. yeah, a big um, uh, contractor um, and I, it's I, I, based in Australia. And that's what, you know, led me to come here. Um, and work right. as a surveyor. So I work in mining industry for five years right after that. Which was, was in Indonesia or? In Indonesia, in Indonesia, in Borneo. So I travel around Borneo. So um, South, yeah, South Borneo and the mm. rest of Borneo, I would say. Um, but as well, I at, at that moment, even though I mainly working as um, mining surveyor, I uh -huh. express my interest to my manager that I want to work in construction. So I All get right. involved in construction surveying for a while, and then they mm. know that I have that uh, potential, then they send me to um, Hunter Valley Expressway on 2011, that's when right. I contacted Randy. Okay, right. So you straight away uh, went to a, sorry, international company? Yes. In my opinion, it is not easy to do that. Well, as I said before, Bandy, I like to write down mm -hmm. what I want. Okay. Um, I mean, I said before that before I gradu graduated, I know exactly what I want, what path okay. that I want to take. So mm -hmm. I prepare myself way before that. And then when I got the opportunity, there you go, I'm ready. Um, right. So um, even though it looks like or it sounds like it's a big target or a big goal mm -hmm. for me is actually yeah. just a goal that is, right. you know it's reachable okay. and okay. yeah at the end of time is yeah mm. I reach it even though that's not my main goal but I'm not far from uh, what my initial goal was all right all right so meaning that when you have the target or set your goal you have to go back and prepare it right how, how do you think uh, Tias, that uh, what you did or what you receive or what you learn in Technic Geodesy uh, help you uh, in or, or doesn't help you uh, in uh, you know uh, progressing in your career at the moment ah, well first of all I love yeah. Geodesy band mm. I went Geodesy I went to Geodesy not by accident that's what I want yeah. um, um, so when I went into Geodesy I was like okay this is what I want but when I get in there it's just like yeah. wow this is one of the oldest um, knowledge Okay. in the world and the range is just so unbelievable like you can mm. learn about law about you know pandy yeah, about yeah, hydro yeah. and stuff and then we learn about gps and then um you know there's a topographical how to make a map but as well mm. data scientists and stuff and um in what i'm doing i use a lot of um 
basic geodesy knowledge but right. as well the application of it so what i learned in um in uni mm -hmm. i use it a lot and it helps right. a lot and it it as well still amazes me how i can mm. it just and it just i don't stop learning because this knowledge is just you know like when you go to a forum international forum and yeah, um yeah, yeah. just talk about one topic but the range of yeah. the issues of the application of the right. new things that they develop is just amazing so yeah i learned a lot from from geodesy and um, yeah, i agree I, with I'm, you. Over, I'm overwhelmed okay thank you i agree with you in terms of application you know, I'm certainly uh, older than you. I mean, quite a lot older than you. When That's I went like to <laughs> when I went to a forum in 1998, when you're still SD, probably at the time, uh, or even no, not even SD, or or you just born. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I remember my first time to to go to that uh, forum called uh, Forum Ilmiah Tahunan yeah. Ikatan Surveyor Indonesia. I was amazed already as a, as a student, as a young student at the time, wow, the application mm -hmm. is really... But no, when I went to the similar forum now, or like recent years, the development was just so... Uh, something that we didn't even think about back then. Now it becomes reality, you know, in terms of application. Do you think also the same, right? Yes. Oh, uh, I in the think, industry, right? yeah, and it's just developed rapidly, quickly. Yeah. In uh, five uh, years, what I'm what I'm doing now is laser scanning, mm. and then when we use like five um, chain men in the field, now I'm just doing myself with GPS and laser scan and everything. Right, right. And I, you know, like the progress of how we manage the time in the field and in the um, in um, in the office to process the work is just like mm. shoot. Mm. And how versatile the product right. is mm -hmm. from what we acquire in the field. Okay, mm, unlimited yeah okay i mean uh okay uh from that point yes i know it's it's good news right because we we have to basically develop ourselves develop our uh, self ability but on the other hand we can also see it from different perspective like so it means that what you learn in in campus probably not relevant anymore because the world is developing so fast how do you respond on that kind of statement um, geodesy and surveying is a very complex um, knowledge. If mm. we want to say that, oh, you're probably going to be a bit irrelevant what you okay. are studying in the uni because the the growth is just rapid. I would mm. say there are some, you know, if I say a good pilot, you can you can um, challenge a good pilot when the weather is bad. So what I'm saying is, um, you are a good surveyor mm -hmm. when you challenge with issues and the only right. way to solve that right. issue is when you have to go back to basic knowledge mm -hmm. and um therefore you can um you know give the result that as accurate and as um mm -hmm. yeah re reli reliable oh okay. so, got it yeah so that basic so that, knowledge is still definitely okay, useful. Knowledge, that, that, that's a good point so yeah. in, in my in my word probably uh, don't worry if you sometimes think that, hey, what I'm learning now in uni probably not relevant anymore in in five or six years or even in three years. Don't worry because I'm I'm good at the basic concept, you know. And then uh, what you know the students basically what you are preparing now is not only about the application or how to use these tools and that tools, but basically to prepare yourself to to develop more, right? And to yeah. adapt basically, is it correct? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. For example, Bandi, I'm I'm in the field. I'm using all this uh, yeah. one push of a button instrument with the laser scan. Right. I just push the button and then I, fit, I wait for five minutes and I get all the point clouds of this million point clouds mm. in my model. Um, but then I as well found the issue in the field. Um, okay, so I have these control points around me. Mm -hmm. One is destroyed, one's still there, but it's only 2D. Mm. Um, uh, quality but i ha don't have the height so what do i do what kind of polygon do i have to use mm. that still exists right. and then okay i wanna i wanna pick up a utility and i don't have enough sites in here i can do my resection but is it going to be accurate enough for the mm. data 
right. you know, right. like, because I'm a surveyor and I have to deliver a very accurate data for the client because they don't talk, they don't speak our language. Right. We have to serve them the correct coordinate with the right mm. um, accuracy. And to be able to deliver that, it has mm. to be um, in a good manner and practice and method and is not far from what I learned from um, uni. There you go. That's very impressive. Yeah. I mean, I mean that also, uh, uh, you know, in other words, uh, we, we agree to say that uh, it has to be, I mean, when you, when you study something, when you learn something, you have to be well grounded in the concept. Yes. Correct? Yes. Because, yes, because very, next yeah. time you, you will have different application, different cases, different situation, where you can really go back to that basic principle and then help you to solve the problems over there. That's quite yeah. right. Yes, and um, mm. I still open uh, my textbook from you. There you, you go. Have, you know, it's like, there okay, if I want to do this, oh, you know, uh, which um, adjustment that I have need to do, oh, I forgot about that. Okay, let's, let, let me open this again. Okay. And then when I have to calibrate my uh, instrument, for example, and I have some mm. issue with it, oh, I forget about that, let me open it. So yeah, don't don't just think that university is, um, you know, something that you have go through before and you go to work. And forget. Get good mark. <laughs> yeah, don't. You don't have to master it, but it's okay. very important to understand it comprehend comprehensively uh, yeah maybe that's um what my um advice for the i i really i really like your view yes it, it reminds me of a a statement knowledge is something you possess or something you don't possess but you know where to find yes yes <laughs> that's correct that's as well one of the way of me working smart not working hard but i'm not very yeah. good in my memory like my brain is just that after two weeks i will forget everything but if i have problem coming to me and i have issue coming uh -huh. to me i know where to find the resource and yeah. i know when to get it so i don't have to remember everything but i know where they are i know where they sit i know who to to ask and that can help me so yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's um, so agreeing with what I mean, you said. Uh, yeah. How do you see the development uh, in? We, we talk about this a little bit in in yeah. terms of technology. Even when you start to work in the same company, I'm sure that the development of technology over there is, as you said, rapid. Right. How do you is it correct? I mean, how do you cope with that? Ah, oh, it's pretty hard, Panti, because mm. um, well, I wouldn't say it's hard, but it is hard, yeah. but it's let's say challenging because okay. as a worker we have to spend our our day you know doing um our routine from eight to five uh finishing project mm -hmm. um you know just make sure that all the deliverables is delivered to the client in a timely manner in a proper way mm -hmm. but as well um the outside world it just keep developing mm -hmm. um so in my way um i always try to um spend my little time um mm -hmm. amongst you know the 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 busy day or my routinity to just check online just to read okay. something just to open mm. the international forum online and to see what's happening in there otherwise if i didn't do that let's say in a month mm -hmm. um they're going to be something new that i miss so uh um, yes, we are worker, but as well, make sure that we have time for research and development. Less right. is better than nothing. So that's how I cope with, with that. Oh, great. Mm. So basically learning, learning uh, all the time, correct? Yes, learning all the time, nonstop. And um, it's good if you can find your community, mm. for example, in the same company, for example, if there's for me, um, so that's a lesser uh, scanner surveyor in Brisbane, in Newcastle. And right. if I have any problem, I will talk to them. And as well, we chat about, hey, mm. probably we can do this. And then they will come up with the idea. Oh, this already invented. You just, right. just check this, check that. So that keeps me updated as well. So yeah, finding a community is another way of um, having it as well. Um, maybe joining, um, you know, um, community online in whatever you interested in. That's as well right. a good way for me to keep updated with the technology. Okay. Is there any uh, like um, uh, 
systematic training over there in your your company or yeah uh, well, not kind of systematic um, training, but um, they're pretty regular webinar. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, from the um, the vendor or uh -huh. yeah, from the survey vendor or instrument vendor. So yeah, that's pretty good way as well. Uh, talking about that, we talk also in general about uh, potential application or different application of yeah. surveying and mapping in many yeah. other fields. How do you see that, uh, Thias? I mean, if you have advice to Adi Adi, for example, we noticed that there are so many um, new profession that right. now exist. Well, okay. it's, it doesn't exist. It didn't exist 10 years ago. Yeah. So right. like we didn't know that become a YouTuber or become an Instagram. <laughs> Instagram famous is a, a profession. Right. We didn't think about that before. So mm. um, yeah, my advice going to, my advice going to be just learn or study whatever you can get there but don't limit yourself to what application that i can yeah can mm. um apply it onto because and as well being open-minded um and learn a lot um right. and if you get lots of knowledge mm -hmm. for some reason your brain will be able to develop a new idea that you know wiring all of those yeah. ideas and you will be amazed by that so yeah i i remember what um Steve Jobs, the late Steve Jobs, said when he gave a speech in Stanford, the, the word that he, use, he uses is uh, connecting the dots. Connecting the dots. That's what we do. Connecting points, basically. Like, so in our life, we just create points, 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 or learn points, points, and points. Probably we don't really understand yet the connection, the relationship. But then uh, one day in, in, in the one time if you're in your life, I think you can look back. Oh, God, all of those points are actually well connected. And that basically, could be, in my term, uh, build a, a foundation of uh, what of where we are now. Yeah, is, isn't it funny, Pandi, that is exactly what we're doing as a surveyor? For example, when we're doing a, you know, mapping a topographical somewhere in the field, and we just pick up this prism, and that's one dot, and then Correct. we move, and that we pick up it, the prism, that's one dot, and and then when we process it, we just link it. Oh, there you go. That's a river. There you oh, go. there you go. That's a bank. And then we create a map Ooh. and we can see everything from above. Yes. Oh, definitely. wow. That's, that's, you know, you actually helped me to understand this better now. Oh, because we don't go. really, we don't really survey line. We survey point, right? We survey point. We survey <laughs> from uh, the smallest element. Correct. So, and we also understand that the more points we have, the better the topography. <laughs> Correct. Definitely. The bigger so, so, picture you've got. Okay, exactly. So that's why I, I agree with you. You have to just learn as, as many things as possible. You might not yeah. think that it is now useful, but one day you'll be able to connect all those points <laughs> into a very good and beautiful topography in, in our term. Yeah. yeah. Map. Topography yeah. of life, whatever. <laughs> exactly. Wow, oh, oh, so this conversation is, is going philosophical now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> but I like it. Maybe one, one last thing, Yes, If you have yes. any message. is to be optimist. Don't get to worry about your bad thoughts. Because honestly, the world, the opportunity is just too big. But so often, we limit ourselves with our worry and bad thoughts. So just be, be optimist. What could go wrong? There you go. This is one of the best advice I've ever heard. So thank you very much, Diaz. I really thank you very much, Yeah, what? the invitation is really good. It's yeah. a very productive morning. It is, actually. So, all right. Thank you very much. I will talk to you later, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye, Tias. Bye. Thank bye, you. Bye-bye.